Question number one, six points are numbered as shown. Kristen draws two triangles, one by joining the even numbered points and one by joining the odd numbered points and colors the inside of one of the triangles red and the inside of the other green. Which of the five options shows the picture Kristen draws? So here, if we join the uh, even points, then the shape of the triangle will be like this. And if we join the odd numbers, the shape of the triangle will be like this. Then, then she can color one of them red and the second one green. So option E is the correct option, which is matching the triangles. Question number two, Eileen wrote around five boys as shown. Which boys did Eileen draw around in an anti-clockwise direction? So we can see that the clockwise direction is highlighted in blue color and anti-clockwise direction is highlighted in green color. So, so when we follow the arrow, the first one is in anti-clockwise direction. Then we will move forward and the second one is in clockwise direction. After that, third one is again in anti-clockwise direction. Then fourth one is in clockwise direction and the fifth one is also in clockwise direction. So uh, the correct answer is uh, option E, 1 and 3 are in anti-clockwise direction. Question number 3, laser beams reflect in mirrors in the way shown in the picture. At which letter will this laser beam end? So the laser beam will enter from here, then it will go upwards, right, downwards, left, down, right, up, right, up, right side, and then downwards after that, left, downwards, left again, and then it will end on B. So option B is the correct option here. Question number four, Cistercian numerals were used in early 13th century. Any integer from 1 to 99 can be represented by a single glyph formed by combining two of the glyphs shown below. The glyph 424 looks like this. Like it is 20 and 4. The glyph 481 looks like this. Like 80 and 1. And the glyph 493 looks like this. 90 and 3. What does the glyph 445 look like? So if we look at 40 and 5. And if we join these two glyphs. The answer will be looking like option D. Question number 5. Marbles are sold in packages of 5, 10 or 25. Tom buys exactly 95 marbles. What is the minimum number of packages he could buy? So here as we need a minimum number of packages, so we will start with the biggest number that is 25. So we will make first pack of 25 out of 95, 25 are gone. Then again we will make another pack of 25 and the third one as well. So 25 plus 25 plus 25 is equal to 75. So out of 95, 75 uh, marbles are gone. Now we will see that if we make another pack of 25, the total will be 100 which is more than 95. So we cannot make another pack of 25. We will try the second highest number which is 10. So the next pack will be of 10 marbles. So 75 plus 10 is 85 and we can make another pack of 10. Then the exact total is 95. So he can make 5 packages of the marbles. Question number 6. ABCD is a square with side length 10 cm. What is the area of the shaded part? So uh, the length of the square is given which is 10 cm. It is looking like a rectangle because I have stretched the picture but uh, it is a square. So here one side of the square is 10 cm. So if we calculate the total area that is equal to length multiplied by width. So 10 cm multiplied by 10 cm is equal to 100 cm square. But here if we look at the square, half of the square is uh, shaded and uh, half of the square is unshaded. So we can calculate the half of 100 which is 50. So option C is the correct option here. 50 cm square uh, is um, shaded in the given square. 
Question number seven in the garage shown in the picture: Vehicles can only move forward or backward, but cannot turn. What is the smallest number of vehicles that have to move for the black car to be able to exit the garage? So let's say this is our first bus. The second bus is standing here, and here we have our third bus. The black car has to go straight away out of the garage if the pathway is clear. So we can see the size of the first bus is consist of uh, three boxes. So we will empty our these three boxes so it can move forward. But in the third uh, box, second bus is standing. So we will move our second bus in these three boxes. To do that, uh, we will move our third bus one step or one box forward after that the white car will be moved forward and then this box will be empty over here so second bus will be moved forward and right after that the first bus will move three boxes forward and pathway will be clear and black car will move uh, forward so in this way we basically moved four uh, vehicles three buses and one white car. So option C is the correct option here. Question number eight, Julia has one long string of spaghetti she needs to make smaller. Every time she breaks one piece of spaghetti, it becomes three pieces as shown in the picture. Which of the following numbers of pieces could she not get? So every time when she breaks the piece of spaghetti, it becomes into three pieces. Like two pieces will be smaller in size and the third piece is the leftover piece from which she is going to break rest of the pieces. So every time she breaks the pieces, two pieces uh, will be broken. Like even number of pieces will be broken and one will be at leftover. So uh, even plus one makes odd. So option A, B, D and E can be the number of pieces uh, which she can get but 20 is not possible because uh, 20 is the number of uh, pieces which she breaks every time like 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. So that is not possible because the leftover piece will make it odd number. So option C is the correct option here 20 she cannot get. Question number 9, Waddle rearranges the 7 pieces shown to get the smallest possible 12 digit number. What are the last 3 digits of this number? To make the smallest possible 12 digit numbers, we have to write the biggest number at the end. And we will start from the smallest number. So here, 1 is smallest of all, so we can arrange our numbers like this. In which 9 is at the end and the second 9 is with 6. So when the we will write the number then there will be no gap between it. So the last 3 digits of the smallest 12 digit number is 699 which is our option A. Question number 10. Which of the following fractions of a whole turn should the ferris wheel turn to bring a white pole to the top? So first of all we will count the number of pods here. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So there are 12 pods in total. So we just need to move uh, the ferris wheel one position to get the white pod at the top. So here option D will be our correct option. We will move one position out of 12. Question number 11, 5 big elephants and 4 small ones are walking along a path as shown. When they reach the junction, each elephant turns either to the left or to the right. Which of the following cannot be the situation after they all pass the junction? To solve this question, we will focus on the uh, small elephant that is at the end. So if we look at option A, B, D and E. The small elephant is at the end, uh, either on the left or on the right side of the junction. But here in option C, there is no small elephant at the end. We can see that the second one is also the small elephant. But here in the start, there is no small elephant at the first or second position. So that's why option C is not the correct representation because there is no small elephant at the end or at the first or second position here on the left or on the right side of the junction. 
Question number 12. Clara starts with 12 and follows the arrows using the rules shown in the picture on the left. What number will she finish with? So we will uh, count the number of the arrows which are coming down and the number of the arrows which are coming up. Here, if I, an arrow is going uh, downwards, we will multiply 12 by 4 and if it is going uh, upside, we will divide it by 4. So in total, there are 3 arrows which are going down and 3 arrows which are coming up. So here we will multiply 12 uh, 3 times with 4 and divide it with 3 times with 4. So the answer will be 12 again, but we can do the calculation. If we multiply 12 by 4 3 times, the answer is 768. And if we divide it uh, by 4 3 times, the answer is 12 again. Now we will count the number of the arrows which are going towards the right side and coming towards the left side. If an arrow is uh, going towards the right side, we will multiply 12 by 2. And uh, for the left side, we will divide it by 2. So as there are two arrows which are going towards the right side, so we will multiply 12 by 2 2 times. And as there are three arrows which are coming towards the left side, so we will divide 12 by 3 times. So the answer will be 6. We can do calculation as well. When we will multiply 12 uh, 2 times with 2, the answer is 48. And if we divide 48 3 times with 2, the answer is 6. So option B is the correct one. Question number 13. Masood and his friends built the number 2022 with 66 cubes as shown in the picture. They painted the whole surface of the structure yellow. How many of the cubes have exactly four faces painted? So if we look at our first two, there are 16 cubes uh, in total. And the corner cubes have exactly five faces painted. And rest of the 14 cubes have exactly four faces painted. So we will write 14 with it. As there are three such uh, two, so we will write 14 for rest of the two as well. And now let's look at the zero. There are 18 uh, cubes in total and all of them have exactly four faces painted. So we will write 18 for this. Now the total of 14, 18, 14 and 14 is equal to 60. So option A is the correct option. 60 cubes have exactly four faces painted. Question number 14, a rectangular based uh, water tank has dimensions 1 meters multiplied by 2 meters multiplied by 4 meters. It contains water to a depth of 25 centimeters. As shown in the left hand picture, the tank is uh, turned so that 1 meters multiplied by 2 meters face becomes the base. As shown in the right hand picture, what is the depth of the water now? So as we can see that all the measurements are given in meters, but the depth of the water is given in centimeters. So first of all, we are going to convert 25 centimeters into meters by dividing it with 100. So 25 by 100 is equal to 1 by 4 meters. Now we have to find out the volume of the water in the first tank. For that, we will write the formula of the volume. That is length multiplied by breadth multiplied by uh, height or depth. So here length is 4 meters, breadth is 2 meters and the depth of the water is 25 centimeters. So we will write 1 by 4 here. We will not take 1 meters because 1 meter is the height of the whole tank. So after solving it we get uh, 2 meters. So the volume of the water in the first tank is 2 meters. Now we have to find out the depth of the water in the second tank. The volume of the water will remain same in the second tank as well. But here we will use the formula of the volume to find out the depth of the water. Uh, volume is 2 meters which is already known. Length is 1 meters and breadth is 2 meters. 4 meters is the height of the whole tank. The depth of the water is not known so we will write h over here. Now. We will uh, multiply 2 by 1, 2 ones are 2 and when we will move 2 on the other side of the equal uh, after dividing 2 by 2 the answer is 1 meters. So the depth or height of the water in the second tank is 1 meters. So option D is the correct option here. 
Question number 15. The picture shows a piece of transparent paper with a design drawn on it. The paper is then folded twice as shown. What would be seen on the folded paper? So, so here we will fold the paper once. In that case, the new image will be like this. And after folding the paper twice, the uh, new image will be like this. That two triangles are together. Uh, option A and C are looking same, but in option C, the sequence of the lines is different. But in option A, uh, both are same. So that is the correct option here.